This video, we're going to cover the login settings screen inside Wishlist Member. So to access this, go to Wishlist Member, Advanced Options, and then Logins. And you're going to see a number of sort of miscellaneous settings regarding logins here. So the first one is Notify Admin of Exceeded Logins. This actually has to do with the default login limit here. So let's actually talk about this for a second. The default login limit is the number of IP addresses that can access your membership site through one account in a given day. Now, immediately what might come to mind is, well, I only want one because I only want one person accessing it. But the thing you have to keep in mind, there's two things you have to keep in mind. One, with all the different devices people have, someone could have a, you know, a home computer, a work computer, a phone, a tablet. So right there, you're already talking about uh, potential for four different IP addresses. And then, you know, depending on the way that the the issuing of IP addresses works, it's actually dynamic. So I can be on my desktop in the morning and then come back later and get on my desktop and that desktop actually be using a, a different IP address because of the way that they're they're issued by routers and so forth. So uh, it's not as easy as, hey, I just want to set it to, to one. Usually uh, you'll see this one set to seven. Uh, usually a little bit higher number, three, four, five, something along those lines. The big thing with, with it is uh, if you're going to turn this on and use this is to sort of set a number and then just kind of pay, pay attention to how many, you know, uh, turn on this notify admin of exceeded logins and see how many of these you're getting. If you're getting none, then maybe the 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 setting is a little high uh, if you're getting a whole bunch of them then maybe the setting is a little low and you'll just want to sort of adjust it until you find sort of a sweet spot where someone who's trying to log in you know or has, has shared their password maybe with somebody and now you're getting 10 logins in, in a or 10 IP addresses in a day or something along those lines then uh, you're, you're sort of stopping that sort of thing. So you just you just want to kind of find a sweet spot with that. So that's what the default login limit is. And then this, of course, is exactly what it says. Notify admin of exceeded login. So if someone exceeds the IP login for the day for their account, then you will get uh, you'll get notified of that. And that kind of helps you to track and figure out what your number is. Next is allow wishes member to handle the login redirect. So when someone uses a login form on your site, wishlist member will then handle that. Now this is important because in wishlist member you set an after login page and so if you want to make sure that they get redirected to the page that you have set as the after login page then you want to ensure that this is turned on. However if you have another system that you're wanting to use to handle logins for whatever reason and you're finding maybe some conflicts of, of people not getting redirected to where you think they should or so forth um, then you can turn this off and let that other system handle it and keep wishlist member from handling it. So that can be a way if you're seeing some conflicts along those lines uh, that you can solve that. Allow wishlist member to handle the logout redirect. So the next option here, again, pretty self-explanatory. If you want wishlist member to handle that logout redirect, just go ahead and turn this on. We've already sort of covered the default login limit here. Next is the login limit message. So this is the message that a user will see on the login form when they have exceeded the login limit for the day. So you can just sort of edit that however you want there. Next is auto login member after clicking confirmation link. So this is related to email confirmation. So if you have email confirmation turned on for a particular level and the user gets the email, they click the link, do you want to auto log them in when they click that link? So if you do, Go ahead and turn that on and it's on by default of course last one here is disable wordpress admin bar for members when logged in so the wordpress admin bar up here uh usually is is only useful for admins i would say uh and so for your membership site if you want to disable that for uh people who are members of your membership site you don't want them to see that then you would just go ahead and turn this on here so that is the login screen inside Wishlist Member.